Hey, Dave LaCalle with Head Games Motorworks. Today we are back on the flow bench with the Audi B9. Check it out. All right, have you guys seen the last episode? We uh, we did a uh, pocket port and we did a combustion chamber. I showed you how I did it. And we are on the flow bench just to see what the differences are now before and after just those two things. Then we're gonna valve job it and we're gonna flow it. All these are gonna be on a stock valve because that's the only thing that's available currently for this combination. And uh, we're gonna see what kind of gains we got. So first up, we're gonna do the exhaust port. Now the exhaust port is a, um, it's an integrated exhaust port. And so I don't see us getting much gains out of this, but maybe I flow it around because the integrated exhaust is open inside the port. And I don't know really, how are you going to mask off just one port? I think it would be pretty difficult. Um, I, I actually can't think of a way that would make sense to me without puttying the whole thing up. And we don't have time for that kind of stuff. Uh, it did open it up. I do see there's going to be some gain, just less gain than the intake. I think the intake port is going to be super dramatic. So watch along as we get it done. So a lot of people think that a valve job is just a valve job. You just go down to the street, get whatever this guy's gonna give you, and it's gonna work. Well, it works, it seals, but it doesn't pick up the cylinder head, it doesn't pick up flow. And that's the one thing that Head Games Motorworks has, I think, over a lot of different shops, is that we flow test every single cylinder head, or I should say every valve job that we use has been flow tested. We know it works, we know it doesn't work, we know it's it, there's a whole lot of different angles so you're gonna have your your base 45 degree angle and then there's a top cut a bottom cut there's a throat cut there is the width of these angles they're not all created equal and that is one thing that you have to keep in mind so we're going to use the valve job that we have used on the b8 which is another one that has been flow tested and um we're going to see what it does So we're hoping that we picked up, uh, you know, like a million TFM. So let's see what it, let's see what it does. As expected, uh, 
these all picked up, but it, it kind of sucks. It's a big turd anyway. Um, well, actually, let, let me rephrase that. This thing will actually flow with a 2JZ on the exhaust side, uh, a ported 2J. It's like within 10 CFM of it, and, uh, which I don't think is too terrible, but uh, you know, it, I just didn't see expected like huge gains out of it, and we didn't see that. That's tighter than that's ass wrapped around the wagon wheel. So, chamber works, but maybe not on the floor bench. Valve job works. Um, it picked up a whole bunch, but we don't really, I'm not happy with this thing right now on the intake side. Although we picked up quite, I mean, we're picking up like almost 60 CFM throughout the range. I'm gonna show you guys the numbers, but uh, I was just expecting a bigger gain from doing, um, yeah, I wanted a little bit more, I guess. Maybe I was getting greedy. Uh, I thought maybe uh, it would do it, but um, it didn't. All right, here's a look at the graph. And we have from the crack of the valve, 100, 100 thousandths lift up to 350 lift. We are at 30 to 45 CFM gain and 53 at, at the very peak, but let's not care about the peak. It only sees it once. The air end of the curve is nice and fat this thing is going to make some jam just the way it is. And as expected, it picked up pretty significant flow. As expected, the exhaust just wasn't very spectacular. We're talking 10 or well, 11 is CFM to 14, 15 CFM throughout the range. Yes, it's not spectacular, but at least it's still a gain because sometimes you can do these things and it either stays the same or it backs up. This also could be, as I mentioned earlier, the way we're flow testing it because, you know, it's a big, gigantic port that the, the valve is opening up to. And uh, it, we're just not actually seeing real gains from that, at least on the flow bench. But at least it's something. And this thing's going to be ready to make some jam along with the intake. We are set to go. All right, that's going to do it for us today. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say and be sure to pay attention. We're going to do a part three of this and that's going to be the valve train. So nobody sells valve train for this. I'm going to show you how we are going to make a solution for that. Toodles. Get gay!